how I made my Agatha Harkness powers. First you have to import your raw footage and this is the smoke effect we're going to use. Here you can see that I dragged my hands, you can do it automatically in a program or you do it manually. These are the keyframes from the animation and you can see I had to adjust them still manually. It's best that you track it loosely because smoke doesn't follow a path. In After Effects you can also activate the motion blur so it looks more realistic. I layer the effect with different colors like purple and black. To achieve the black smoke you have to pre-compose it, then use the effect Unmold so you get rid of the black background and then invert it so your white smoke will become black. Then you can also use the curves effect to increase the contrast. Also important is the light for the hands. We're going to use the curves effect to brighten up the area and then colorize it. And then mask it around the hands and drag it to their movement. Another cool effect are light sweep. It brightens up and colorizes the edges of your subject. So it will look like you had real light. The last but very important part is to use sound effects and to use a cinematic load. And now you know 